Space Station. I'm Ultramath. I will take you and your friends on a journey to better understand your math with the help of my space gadget. In this episode, we will discuss a topic of percentage. Percent comes from the Latin word percentum. The Latin word centum means hundred. Percentage is a proportion in relation of a whole. Percentage is a way of expressing a number as a fraction, with 100 as its denominator. 100% means per hundred. It is often denoted using the percent sign. The word percent and the percent symbol are interchangeable with the word hundreds. For example, 7% reads as 7%. It is equal to seven hundreds. For example, there are one hundred students enrolled for a math class. If only sixty-three attend the class, then sixty-three per hundred students showed up. This means sixty-three percent of the students attended the lecture. Sixty-three is a quantity to represent a part of the second quantity, which is one hundred. That is why percentage is important. Percentage is used to express how large one quantity is in relation to another. To better understand the close relations between decimal, fraction and percentage, let us now learn to do percentage conversion. There are two basic rules to convert from percentage to fraction. 1. Divide the percent by 100 to get a fraction. 2. Simplify the fraction. Before we use the rules to convert percentage to fraction, we have to identify the numerator and the denominator. Let us use 45% as a problem. The number before the percentage sign becomes the numerator and the denominator is 100. Rule number 1. Divide the percentage by 100 to get the fraction. In this problem, we divide 45 by 100. Rule number 2. Simplify the fraction. 45 divided by 5 equals 9 and 100 divided by 5 equals 20. The answer is 9 over 20. Let's do another conversion. How about 80%? Remember the rules? Rule number 1. Divide the percentage by 100 to get the fraction. In this case, we divide 80 by 100. Rule number 2. Simplify the fraction. 80 divided by 20 equals 4. And 100 divided by 20 equals 5. The answer is 4 over 5. Convert fractions to percentage. Well, isn't this easy? Good. Let's now learn how to convert fractions to percentage. There are two basic rules to convert from fraction to percentage. 1. Convert the fraction to decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. 2. Convert the decimal to percentage by multiplying by 100. Let us convert 1 over 2. 
Remember the rules? First, convert the fraction to decimal. In this case, we divide 1 by 2 and get the decimal. Rule number 2. Convert the decimal to a percent by multiplying by 100. The answer is 50%. Let us now learn to do percentage conversion. Let us convert another fraction to percentage. Try this one, 3 over 4. Rule number 1. Convert the fraction to decimal. In this case, we divide 3 by 4 and get the decimal. Rule number 2. Convert the decimal to percentage by multiplying by 100. 0 0.75 multiplied by 100 is 75. The answer is 75%. Welcome to the problem solving skills section. Take out a piece of paper and a pencil. You and your friends are going to solve some mathematical problems relating to our topic percentage. Are you ready? Write the following in numerals. N, I, N, E, P, E, R, C, E, N, T. 9% B. T H I R T Y O N E P E R C E N T thirty one per cent C S E V E N T Y F O U R P E R C E N T seventy four per cent. Write the following in words A four per cent F O U R P E R C E N T B eighteen per cent E I G H T E E N P E R C E N T C sixty per cent S I X T Y P E R C E N T One per cent of the whole is shaded. The answer is seven hundredths or seven percent. Now we will be converting fraction of hundredths to percentage. Ready? Let's convert three hundredths to percentage. Remember the rules? 
1. Convert the fraction to decimal by dividing the numerator to denominator. In this case, we divide 3 by 100 and get the decimal 0 0.03. Then, convert the decimal to percent by multiplying by 100. 0 0.03 multiplied by 100 is 3. The answer is 3%. Three Let's convert the other way around. Percentage to fraction. The rules are 1. Divide the percentage by 100 to get a fraction. 2. Simplify the fraction. Let us now convert 36% to a fraction with 100 as its denominator. So in this problem, we need to keep 100 as a denominator. Divide 36 by 100 to get a fraction. 36 divided by 100 is 36 hundredths. We don't have to simplify this fraction if the question requires 100 as its denominator. The answer is 36 over 100. Express each fraction as a percentage. 9 hundredths. Rule 1. Convert the fraction to a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. In this case, 9 divided by 100. Nine divided by one hundred equals to zero point zero nine. Rule two convert the decimal to percentage by multiplying by one hundred. Zero point zero nine multiplied by one hundred equals nine. The answer is nine percent. B twelve hundredths. Rule 1. Convert the fraction to a decimal by dividing the numerator by the denominator. So 12 divided by 100. 12 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.12. Rule 2. Convert the decimal to percent by multiplying by 100. 0 0.12 multiplied by 100 is 12. The answer is 12%. Now let's practice expressing each percentage as a fraction. Rule 1. Divide the percentage by 100 to get a fraction. 2 divided by 100. Rule 2. Simplify the fraction. 2 divided by 2 equals to 1. One hundred divided by 2 equals to 50. The answer is 1 over 50. D. 58%. 
Divide the percentage by 100 to get a fraction. 58 equals to 58 hundredths. Rule 2. Simplify the fraction. 58 divided by 2 is equal to 29. 100 divided by 2 equals to 50. 50. The answer is 29 over 50. Well, I hope you understand the discussion. See you next time in Percentage Episode 2. Bye-bye. <laughs>